Hello noble ones and welcome to Metatron's Academy. So this is another episode of our really fun series about trying to understand accents and we've already done a video on Scottish, we've done a video on Jamaican, but today we are exploring the Irish accent. Given Ireland is a big island. I... Ireland is a big... L'Irlanda è una grande isola. Therefore, you'll have all sorts of different accents, depending on which city you're from, which area, the south, the north, the east, uh, whether you're from a city, like a major urban area, whether you're from a rural area. And I think that we have, generally speaking, because of some popular YouTubers, we have an idea what the Irish accent sounds like. For example, I tend to watch Jacksepticeye quite a lot, and even though you can tell he's from Ireland and he's got an accent, I understand him 100%. So, not a great test subject, uh, for us to uh, to practice. And there is also a friend of mine um, who also has a different Irish accent, but still an Irish accent when compared to Jacksepticeye, and one of the characteristics that I noticed when this guy speaks is the fact that the TH that you're normally pronouncing with an interdental um, sound, fricative sound, so like 30, uh, when he says it, it sounds more like 30. So I suppose depending on where you're from, there will be some areas that have that characteristic, but regardless, I understand it no problem. So. Today, instead, uh, we are going to do something a little more difficult. I found a video, which I've been told, shows a very difficult to understand a variety uh, of the Irish accent because the title says, Irish farmers, glorious accent is so strong, here is the subtitles. Now, of course, we're not going to look at the subtitles, but I'm intrigued. I want to test it. Let's see how much I can understand and let's see how much you can understand. Of course, you'll find a link in the description if you want to check out the video on your own. Let's go. Gorthy and County Kerry are investigating the theft of up to 60 sheep on Mount Brandon. One of the farmers is offering a reward for information leading to the return of the ewes, which are worth thousands of euro. Well, then find me asking them. That's right, then. Do you want them in? And you want some seed? Find me asking them. Last Saturday, Mikey George. So already the first part, he's speaking no idea. Nothing. I did not get one word. Uh, now we've got a little more commentary from the uh, reporter, I suppose, from the news asset. So uh, we're going to see, I, I suppose they're going to interview him a bit more. Let's see if we can understand a little more from at least the context of what we are, to we are talking about. Shea brought his flock of Scotch sheep down from the mountain commonage ahead of lambing. He discovered over 50 were missing. Allowing for a number of deaths and strays, Mikey is convinced over 45 sheep have been stolen. I mean, the guy who is speaking also has an accent, but I understand him, no problem. <laughs> but in the background, the farmer is like yelling at the sheep. <laughs> no idea. Possibly a night, there'd be a full moon there about a night, and it should be bright out, and there could anyone go up in the mountains about a night, sure. Well, there was 45 sheep missing, like, and the lambs and everything, and the sheep just count, just count out the nice bit of money, like. Oh my gosh, is that even English? Like, I, I'm, I'm serious, is he speaking, like, a Celtic language here? Or was that English, but the accent was so thick that I couldn't recognise the word? Or was it a mixture? If you are from Ireland and you understand him, please let me know. Uh, wow, this was, this was, like final boss level. I have no idea. The only thing I understood when he said 45 sheep missing and then he added like, which is something that this, this thing of adding like at the end happens as well with a Liverpoolian accent, which is another accent we'll be exploring on this channel. Uh, they tend to, to add like and sometimes even becomes like uh, with a sound in the in the Scouse accent. But this this is the only thing like, so I'm, I'm familiar with that approach, uh, communicative approach. And, and then again, I think I understood the 45 sheep missing because that's the title. I mean, that's what the reporter told us. Would I have recognized the number if I hadn't any clue whatsoever? Maybe, maybe. Let's see. To be done about you, nothing. Some sort, you know. Some sort of either, you know. Mikey's next door neighbor oh. says some of his sheep have also been stolen. Come back, come back, come back. Well, congratulations on understanding his next door neighbor. They must have brought an interpreter. Uh, and I think, did he say now, come back? I think he said, come back. Maybe. Not 100% sure because he also speaks very fast. 
and he's older. I noticed that when you listen to the older generation, sometimes there is a little bit of a speech impediment as well. Um, some people who are older, they tend to not be able to hear very well. So, of course, that changes their perception and how they uh, use the volume as they speak, not only on an emphatic level, but also because, you know, they, they want to make sure that they're being heard. Uh, so all of these things play a factor. Um, also, enunciation sometimes can be a problem depending on where you're from and also your age. But so far, no idea. I'm missing about 10, 10 years. It's not all that difficult. All you got to do is have a good dog. Have a good dog and go at night, some moonshine night. Just I know he said it's not that difficult, <laughs> ironically, but then he explained something. I don't know, did he speak about night? That, that's the only word that I think I understood. Just put the dog around him, put him on a trailer or walk him. And then probably somebody else to pick him up. Whoever and then probably somebody else to pick him up, which he said to pick him up. And that's it. Yeah. Whoever is doing it knows what he's doing. Wow, this was, this was tough. This was a difficult one. Well, what can I say? Uh, this challenge was quite difficult and these videos tend to be a little shorter because we don't go too technical. We just take one video, tackle it and try the challenge. How difficult was it for you? Of course, let me know in the comments below. And also, what kind of experience have you had with Irish accents? Do you know people in Ireland? Are you from Ireland? Or perhaps you spent some time in Ireland? Of course, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining Metatron's Academy.